Hello everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Kim and today we're going to be working with Cricut Design Space and three different types of paper. So the first paper I'm going to be mirroring. It's a white transfer paper for white t-shirts. The second and the third I'm not going to be mirroring and that's for dark t-shirts and also a glitter which is for dark and light t-shirts. The first one I've mirrored so it's for the white, which I'm going to now cut out on the Cricut. I will go over a little bit more detail once I get this one cut out. Okay, so we have our image cut out. As you can see, it's been mirrored and it's also been printed onto this paper here, right, which is for light t-shirts. And now what we're going to do is I've picked out an old shirt of mine. This is just an old vest top. I'm going to give it a quick press or an iron with the Cricut Easy Press. Just give it a little bit of a press there. I don't really need to be exact with this because this is just for me but if you want to get your design centered you can fold your t-shirt in half and to ensure that you're going to get it down that center mark. Now then, now this here has got to be put face down and this has been printed out with an inkjet printer all right so we're going to face it down onto here like this i'm just going to eye it in so there we have our design face down now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my heat press on this for 20 seconds now my cricut easy press is not it, they're not heat presses okay so really you need to do it as you would like an iron so I what I'm gonna do is with an iron you would just keep going gently over making sure not to move the design as you're going um, but with the heat press you would just put it in a heat press press it down and then 20 seconds lift up and it should be done now because I'm using the Cricut easy press there's not a lot of pressure there unless I apply it myself and it's not like a normal heat press so this is going to be the first attempt at doing it with the Cricut he Easy Press so uh, here's our design now 20 seconds it says on the instructions and at 190 degrees um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my heat press I'm going to press it down and press the Cricut button to get the seconds rolling And seconds are set for 20. I'm going to apply some pressure. Now then, what I can do is, if I want this to dry, I can peel this now, hot or cold. If I peel it hot, the design's going to come out matte. If I peel it cold, it's going to come out more glossy. The instructions suggest that if you want it to wash better, then it's best to have it peel it hot because then it's going to be matte. Um, so I presume that means it would last longer. The matte will last longer as opposed to the glossy effect. That's still pretty hot. I am actually going to leave that to cool down and then I'm going to peel it um, cold. So I want to see what the glossy effect's like. I want to see how the colour works out as well, see how bright it is. So we'll let that cool down for a moment and then we will peel. Okay, so we're going to give it a peel now. Oh, I actually really like that. I love how that has turned out. Now, we're still not finished because what we've got to do now is fix it, all right? This is basically, it just finishes it off. So with your pack, you'll get this silicone sheet. You get a couple of them. You lay that over the top, all right? And then, as the instructions state here, it says here fixing so after you've peeled the transfer paper and exposed the image place the enclosed silicon paper on the image and iron it for about 30 seconds for a4 20 seconds for a5 peel the silicon paper while hot the image is now fixed 
So when you're using a heat press, place the silicone on the exposed image and repress for three seconds. So with a heat press, you do not need it as long, okay? So that's it. Then it says here, if you wait 24 hours before washing the garment, wash in a washing machine using a full spin cycle and it's recommended to pre-wash the printed garments if the first use is likely to be in extreme wet conditions not suitable for hand washing or delicate cycles right so heat presses up now i'm going to lay that on there and i'm just going to press this for a few seconds it says 20 but i'm inclined not to put it on for 20 but we'll see i'll see how i feel um this heat press does get pretty hot or heat press this cricket easy press should I say two one zero right okay we left it on for 20 seconds peel it hot there we go fixed I really like that now you let it cool down before you start touching it so I suppose that fixes it even more into the shirt but look at that that is pretty smart and you can see it's got a bit of a gloss to it as well can you see I do like that stuff uh, and that's worked out pretty nice so that is the white stuff there we go it's lovely that and it feels quite it doesn't feel too thick and plasticky it's not too bad at all actually I quite like that what I might do is make some um, labels using this stuff i did make some labels for some scrunchies but they were just black and white labels so i think what i'm going to do is make some colored labels because i think that would be quite a nice idea now there we go i've got a new revamped t-shirt so you can do this at home if you've got a standard printer okay you do not need a cutting machine okay if you haven't got a cutting machine you're not going to get in all these little crooks and crannies necessarily you could if you did a, took a knife to it um, so all you need really is a, a standard inkjet printer and some of this paper here. Uh, this is for light t-shirts, so that's all you need really. An iron will suffice, that will be just as good, okay. You don't need a press of any kind. And a cotton t-shirt, okay. This stuff does goes on to cotton, it goes on to polyester, it will go on to most things actually. Like I said, with this pack you get 20 sheets and you get two of the silicone sheets as well these sheets here okay which are reusable so next time in a minute what we're going to do is we're going to get a black top all right and this time we're going to use it's a different brand it's koala and it's a dark t-shirt transfer paper we're going to have a go with this next and that is also for inkjet printers i'm wondering actually to do the exact same design see how it works out i think i will because then we're going to see we're going to see the difference aren't we so i'll get the exact exact same design done on this paper and we'll print it onto a black t-shirt so again here's our paper now we're going to pop it plain side down into the machine okay so there we go Confirm A4 mat is fine. Okay, so there's our design printed onto the glitter paper. So now we're going to pop them onto our mat. Be sure to line them up. accurately as possible right okay okay so this paper here is the dark t-shirt transfer paper we're going to pop that in there bring this forward a bit and then let that cut out Now my machine is set to iron on, okay, 
So it's just a basic iron on and that should be ample enough to cut through the design. Okay, so we're all ready. That one's done. Then cut our glitter. Okay, so I will just lay this down on my mat. Okay. We'll do it again. Okay, so now I am, whilst I was off camera, I peeled the koala paper. I peeled that off. Now, I was thinking I maybe needed to up the pressure a bit on my Cricut, but actually there was no need for that because maybe I could have done it a little bit, but it's coming away. It doesn't seem to have cut the inner pieces. Mind you, that's not too bad for iron on, so it should work. But you can always adjust your pressures to make sure you get that cut easily out. So you haven't got to fiddle like this. It might just be due to the nature of the um, paper itself. So, nearly there. Gotta get these few little bits out. You can choose to cut it out with scissors if you prefer, but then you're not gonna get these middle bits out so easily. And depending on the um, intricacy of your design as well. So, right, I think I have got there's a tiny piece there. Yeah, that was fine. I didn't need to adjust the pressure at all there. Okay, so that's our koala paper. We've been this bit here. Let's just tidy up a minute. So the koala paper, that's the dark t-shirt transfer paper. Now, this is the glitter paper, okay? So, on here, you're going to get your instructions. And, basically, it's got here, peel your design from the backing logo paper. Now, it says that the transfer paper is composed of two layers, the backing logo paper and the blank film. Right, okay. So, same as that, you should be able to, hopefully. That's if it's cut through it. Like I said, I think I maybe needed to adjust my pressure a little bit because it's not cut through to the other side. It hasn't. So I'm going to redo this. I'm going to reprint this and I'm going to set my um, Cricut to card. So that's what I'm going to do. And that should give that a good cut out. So get some more of this paper. It's a bit of a waste. It doesn't matter. I could cut around that and reuse it. If I really want to. So we get another piece. I just want to make sure that the cut it settings are right. So I'm going to go and print this off again. While I'm printing that off, I'm going to attempt to cut this one out with these little scissors here. For those of you that haven't got a cutting machine, it's doable. Right, let's just get rid of that big bit. It makes it a lot easier. Cricket. 
and I've set it to card stock. So all being well, it should cut straight through, which is what I want. Okay, so now I've reprinted the glitter paper and as you can see this time it has come away perfect that's what I wanted I wanted it all to cut away nicely so let's just peel that back brilliant I haven't got any weeding to do as such so all that has come away let's just get that one just poke that little piece out there Right, so that's done. You can scrape that off. Okay, we have our glitter, which has a very, you can feel it, it's a rough texture. We have our dark t-shirt transfer paper, very soft and smooth. Okay, so that's the koala, that is the Transadrine glitter. And as you saw, we did the light transfer paper, which is another different brand by PPD. So first of all, let's just pop like so. Right, so we've got our dark transfer paper and our glitter transfer paper. Now, with the dark transfer paper, you get, get one of these sheets here, it's like a wax paper. And the same goes for, well, we had one for the PPD paper as well. You get a couple of sheets of that. We'll pop that back in there, we don't wanna lose that. And we will pop that sheet back in there because we've done that shirt already. So that's done bit of spare paper though, might be able to use that. Um, and then we've got our glitter paper and then that's that one there. So now we're going to get a mat out. So we'll heat mat out. Going to put the easy press on. I haven't got an actual heat press. <coughs> I only have this easy press here. I'm going to pop that on. Put our press there. I'm just using an old t-shirt of mine because, because, <laughs> this is just testing really. Um, it's an old black t-shirt, it's a bit of a mark there. I'm not going to worry about centering my design. But for those of you that want to centre your designs, do it professionally. Obviously, fold your t-shirt in half so you can get your centre mark ironed a crease down the centre. And then you can pop your design on and measure whereabouts from, the, from one side to the other to make sure it's central. You can get a t-shirt guide, which I have got, which are like little plastic guides, which you can pop up at the collar and then bring your design down. Um, I roughly know where the design goes now because I've done quite a few and I'm going to pop the design in here. Now we're going to be using the Koala paper first, which is for the dark t-shirts. And it's recommended you can use an iron with this as opposed to a heat press. All right, and we're going to do it with our heat press. Might well, I've got a Cricut Easy Press, so it's a bit between an iron and a heat press. It's not a heat press, it's not an iron. So I've got it set at 190. And it says, if you do it with an iron, you do it for three minutes and you keep going over in circular motions. Now, this is the dark t-shirt transfer stuff, okay? But we've got, what we've got to do is we've got to peel off this backing here. This stuff, you're going to have to be careful when you're peeling this off because you don't want to tear it. I've managed to grab one corner and now what we've got to do is we've got to carefully peel away the transfer from the backing paper 
Now the more intricate your designs are, the harder this possibly will be. But, right, that's the way. So now this is my design. Now, I've made sure that all this is clean, my area is clean. You want to get a lint roller if possible or some sellotape and get all the lint off. So there we have our design. Make sure there's no creases in it. Then we're going to use the paper that came with your koala paper. And then we're going to get the heat press and we're going to go over this. I am not going to do it for three minutes because I don't want to burn it. So I am going to attempt at just pressing it down. Just a bit of pressure. If you're doing it with a heat press, you don't want too much of pressure. And obviously you're going to have to make sure your times are slightly different. So with an iron, you would have it on your one of your hottest settings and you would just keep going over like this. You don't want the paper to go yellow because that shows that it's too hot or you're doing it too hard, too much pressure. So we'll just do this. Let me put my, that's on for 20 seconds. My heat press is set for 20 seconds only. So you want to make sure you're going to do it enough, but you don't want to burn it. It suggests three minutes with a hot iron, going in circular motions. If you don't do it long enough, then it won't stick properly and it could come off in the wash. And what you're going to do when this is done is then leave it to cool down. You peel it cool. So there we go. I'm just going to play it by ear. I have that's enough for me because I've got quite a hot heat press. It's hotter than an iron. So I'm going to let that cool down now. And I'm not going to touch it. Just let it cool down. Put that up there out of the way. And now we're going to get our light glitter. Well, it's not actually, it's from dark and light. Another t-shirt. This is an old t-shirt. Okay, so now we have our glitter stuff, okay? And again, we're going to peel off because this is all done. You don't mirror this paper. You mirror the white t-shirt paper. That has to be mirrored, okay? Because that goes on differently, all right? As you saw, but these two, you do not mirror. So now we're going to peel this off of here. So we're going to, there we go, it comes up quite easy. And again, it's very similar feel. Obviously it's rougher texture because you've got the glitter, but it's very similar to the dark transfer. Now take your time. quite strong stuff it's like a rubbery feel so okay and again pop it onto your shirt now I can't see any glitter effects at the moment so I'm hoping with the heat all will be revealed. So with your glitter paper, you will also get these waxy sheets. This is quite shiny, this one. So that's going to go down, doesn't matter which way around it goes, onto the top of the fabric, on top of your design, okay? And make sure there's no creases, okay? Make sure there's no creases in your design. And then we're going to heat press it with our easy press. And with the, their instructions on here, it gives you 
instructions for a heat press, instructions for the easy press and instructions for an iron. Okay, so you can follow either or of those. So basically for about 15 to 20 seconds I'm going to apply heavy pressure onto this design. Alright, so my heat press is set. Oh, and it's set to it says 170, but uh, so I need to reset it and let it cool down a minute. So I'm going to let that cool down for a moment. Okay, so again. Heavy pressure this time. that's been 20 seconds okay right and this here can then be pulled straight away and there we see it's done I cannot really see uh, that much of a glitter effect doesn't look very glittery Hmm. Can't really, unless I unless you put it in the light. Oh yeah, I can see it now. I can see the glitter effect now. Let's just try heating it a little bit longer, just to see if that helps with the glitter. It's not it's not that noticeable. Hmm. It's not that noticeable. Right, okay, so there we have our light t-shirt. Now you can apply this stuff to light or dark, it doesn't matter. Alright, now we're gonna get our dark stuff. It's cooled down now, totally cool. And that just peels off and that is stuck lovely there we go so it's not a lot of difference with the glitter I am I would say I'm quite disappointed in that glitter stuff I would not purposely buy it again for the glitter effect because to be honest with you it does not look that fantastic so there we have our so-called glitter effect. I mean, if you look at that there, the picture shows it looks quite glittery, but no. Sorry, but I do not think that's that good. So I will not be giving that for glitter effect, for the way it's gone on, lovely. For glitter effect, two out of 10, I'm afraid. Not that good. Now, there's the dark t-shirt transfer vinyl, which is brilliant. I've got a problem with that at all. And then, of course, we have the white transfer vinyl. Now, that looks quite vibrant. And they both, they all actually, they all look very, these two here look quite vibrant. The white, not so vibrant, but that might be because of the background, possibly. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty pleased with that design. I'm pretty pleased with these, you know, it's like creating your own HT HTV vinyl without the, all the hassle of having to um, do colour layering and stuff like that. So it's a good way and obviously, you know, it's for cotton t-shirts as well as everything else so it's ideal for any sort of items that you want to print onto whereas sublimation you can only print if you're sublimating directly you can only directly sublimate onto polyester but with this paper here the koala this here okay you can actually use sublimation ink as well so you can in fact sublimate on top of this 
stuff so what you could do potentially is you could just cut out that design as a plain blank design then you can print onto um, a normal piece of sublimation paper and then you can layer it and layer it onto there and print it, the sublimation onto this but what's the point really if you let allow these to dry that you shouldn't have a problem before you know cutting them out and putting them onto your shirts so I think it's a fantastic way to print off t-shirts when you haven't got a sublimation printer if you haven't got a heat press and if you haven't got a cutting machine it can they can all be achieved with just a an inkjet printer which I think is brilliant so there we go those are the three papers now I'm going to try and link them down below so if you want to find out the papers then obviously go down and have a look at the prices and stuff um, I'm based in the UK I'm about to set up a an Amazon for the US as well so you can all have a look um, hopefully that will all work out fine but there there we have our selection of papers on different colored shirts which not bad not bad at all color vibrancy I mean I will give a 10 out of 10 and I especially to be honest with you I actually like the vibrancy of the glitter although it's not very glittery it's very vibrant and I actually think it's more vibrant than these two here um, what do you think let me know in the comments down below see which one you prefer but it gives it quite a 3d effect as well I quite like this design I really do I think it looks looks great and so many different papers out there and it's all achievable with just the minimum things just an ink jet printer if you haven't got everything else but there we go fabulous okay well thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and please feel free to share it also if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing it will all help the channel grow and I will be back with more tutorials or ideas like this in the future along with embroidery and other bits and pieces thank you for watching bye for now